Kelly Piquet revealed a surprising nugget of information about her boyfriend Max Verstappen in a new interview which has divided opinion among motorsport fans. Stay tuned to find out what she said. Max Verstappen is known for his heart racing speed on the Formula 1 track. When the Dutch driver made his debut in Formula 1 in 2015, he was only 17 years old, making him the youngest driver in the history of the sport. Verstappen has claimed 35 victories since his F1 debut and has earned a spot in the top 10 of the sport's all-time list of winners. Kelly Piquet, who is Verstappen's fiance, has been there for him every step of the way, rooting for him and encouraging him. She is quite vocal about her admiration for Verstappen's achievements on social media, uploading pictures of his victories as well as pictures of the two of them enjoying time together on the sidelines. Following Verstappen's 2021 F1 title win, Kelly posted a tribute to the driver on Instagram. World champion, just unforgettable, she captioned a series of photos of videos of the couple celebrating after his victory. In October 2022, Kelly posted about Verstappen again after his second F1 title win. She shared a sweet photo on Instagram in which she gave Verstappen a smooch as he held his trophy. She wrote in the caption, he did it again, world champion 21-22. Kelly Piquet is the daughter of Nelson Piquet, a Brazilian race car driver who won the F1 World Championship three times. Kelly was born in 1988 and she grew up around the sport with her Dutch mother Sylvia Tamsma and her two siblings. Her older brother Nelson Angelo Piquet is a former Formula E and Formula 1 driver while her younger sister Julia Piquet works at motorsport.com and is dating NASCAR driver Daniel Suarez. Born in Homburg, Germany, Kelly Piquet has lived around the globe. She had spent most of her childhood in the south of France, then returned back to Brazil when she was 12 years old and lived there until she was 15. Kelly attended a boarding school in England for a short period of time before moving to New York City, where she attended Marymount Manhattan College and received a degree in international relations. Kelly is fluent in English, French, and Portuguese because of her many travels across the world. You're enjoying this video, right? You definitely don't want to miss out on other amazing videos. So all you have to do is hit the subscription button. It's that easy. Thanks for doing that. Let's move on. Kelly has also carved out a successful career for herself in the fields of public relations, column writing and styling. Kelly found work immediately after graduating from college, first as an intern in the Couture Purchasing Office of Bergdorf Goodman and then as an assistant stylist at Vogue Mexico e Latino America. In 2011, she worked as a publicity intern at PR firm called KCD Worldwide before becoming a columnist for Marie Claire Brazil. Then came a move back to London, where she worked for over two years as Formula E's social media and PR consultant. According to her LinkedIn page, she is now living in Monaco and working as a health and wellness coach for the Institute of Integrative Nutrition. In addition to that, she is an influential figure on social media. Kelly, who has over 1.1 million followers on Instagram, often endorses brands on her social media. In addition to appearing on a number of fashion runways and modeling for brands such as APM Monaco and Only Natural Diamonds to Pepe Jeans, the Sagittarius influencer has previously posed for Pat Bo and Louis Bugalo. It was toward the end of 2020 that Verstappen and Kelly started dating. On the first day of 2021, Max Verstappen uploaded a picture of himself and Kelly on social media, along with a caption stating, Happy New Year, everyone. Let's make 2021 a year to remember in many ways. Wishing you all success, love and happiness, just as I found mine. On the same day, Kelly also shared a photo of the couple. She captioned the post, Love is what makes the world go round. Happy New Year and much love. Although most of the content on Verstappen's Instagram page is devoted to his victories and races, Kelly sometimes posts images with the Formula 1 driver on her own profile. In September 2021, she celebrated Verstappen's birthday with a sweet Instagram tribute. She wrote alongside a photo of the couple, Happy birthday to the love of my life. I love everything about you, about us, and I am beyond proud of you. I can't wait for all that is to come. In honor of Mother's Day in May 2022, the racer uploaded photographs to his social media accounts that included Kelly, his mother Sophie Kumpen, and his sister Victoria Verstappen. He wrote, Happy Mother's Day to these amazing mothers, with his girlfriend commenting, Love you. Kelly's last relationship with Daniel Kvyat, a former Formula One driver from Russia, they are parents to a girl who was delivered sometime in the middle of 2019. Their relationship, on the other hand, came to an end later that year. The 34-year-old model, daughter of former Formula One champion Nelson Piquet, will be the cover star of the January edition of the Dutch edition of Vogue magazine. The news was announced a few days back, while several photos and snippets of the cover story have been released. During the course of the interview, she discussed her love of racing and the fact that she has had an interest in the field of motorsport ever since she was a little child. Kelly said, I was always very involved in my brother's career. I've experienced the ups and downs, seen what pressure does to someone. This world is so familiar to me. I know what those guys go through. 
The 34-year-old model also talked openly about her relationship with Verstappen. She said, he remains so humble. He has both feet firmly on the ground. What I really like is that he knows what he wants and he is not afraid to say it. He is confident and not interested in fame or material things. We have a lot in common, a bon viance. I realize more and more how similar he is to my father. Also, she discussed the idea of the double champion buying her a car, and in doing so, she suggested the Dutchman harbors a dislike for electric cars. Kelly has quoted it as saying, If Max would say to me, I want to buy you a car, I would say an electric one, please. He would die if I say that. Die. At this time, there are no plans for Formula One to begin adopting electric engines, and the likelihood of that changing during Verstappen's tenure as a race car driver looks to be relatively low. However, given his evident preferences for petrol fumes, it seems unlikely that he would ever compete in a series that is powered only by electricity, such as Formula E. While that quote from Kelly is a harmless one, the overall interview has sparked some backlash from motorsports fans. A photo of the magazine cover shows the German-born Brazilian model wearing a racing helmet while in other images she dons overalls in a feature that appears to portray her as a leader among women in motorsport. Kelly has prior experience working in the racing industry and was once in charge of the social media coverage of Formula E. However, it seems that the only ties she currently has with Formula One are her relationship with Verstappen and the fact that she is the daughter of a previous world champion. Because of this, many people are beginning to wonder why she was selected to be the poster girl for women in racing. The group known as Females in Motorsport shared the front cover on social media with a statement in which it criticized the choice made by Vogue not to pick someone who the organization considers to be a better depiction of racing women. The group wrote, Seeing Kelly Piquet on the cover of Vogue representing women in motorsport is disappointing. There are so many women out there who actually compete in the sport and who have faced constant adversity. These races should have their stories heard instead. A number of followers are of the same opinion. Among them are some individuals who pointed out that individuals such as W Series winner Jamie Chadwick, World Endurance Championship driver Dorian Pinn, and Red Bull strategy manager Hannah Schmitz may have been more suitable alternatives but others defended the decision to profile Kelly, including Ciara Chambers, who wrote, This is Vogue Netherlands, the home of the F1 champion who happens to be a partner, not to mention it's Vogue, a fashion magazine first and foremost. Kelly is a model. This actually makes perfect sense for their brand. Following significant backlash over the first statement, females in motorsport issued a clarification in which they said this is not a personal attack on Kelly, but rather questioning why the decision was made to position her as a representative for women in motorsport. It is reasonable to assume that Kelly and Max's relationship is stronger than it has ever been, with her cheering on the race car driver from the sidelines for most of his races as he won his second title. As the 2023 season is about two months away, Max will want to spend some quality time with Kelly. The two-time champion will be looking to recharge to defend his title and maintain a dominant winning streak. What's your thought about Kelly PK being portrayed as a leader among women in motorsport? Let me know in the comments section below. That will be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can always get to watch more amazing videos like this. See you in the next video.